The safety and health of North Carolinians is what's guiding them on making the decision on whether or not the state will host the RNC at the end of August. Crowds have just started to um, run, so we're trying to get to a safe location now as we move. Um, and that's kind of been the last 15 minutes or so. Um, it seems that the groups here have been a little more agitated than when we uh, first got on scene. And as you saw, I think as that live shot started to come up, uh, there was some um, confusion of what was going. You saw running, and that's the dangerous part about big crowds like this, is that one person starts to run, the whole crowd starts to run. One of them is how do you turn an empty parking lot like this one into a place of worship, and how to do that safely. I've heard from community activists, from people on the streets, and from our own police department that uh, these kinds of incidents affect how police relations work all over the country. After three in the morning that there had been a shooting, they rushed to the home and when they got here, they looked at this window. They tell me in a typical week, they see about 3,000 claims come through the website for unemployment benefits. In the last two days, they've seen 18,000. Well, there was a lot of family from both sides in the courtroom today to witness Cuffey plead guilty to voluntary manslaughter. That's kind of the big story here. It's a lot of wind and a lot of rain. It's kind of hard. We can kind of show you us moving around in it, but to show you the amount of rain, I want to take you to the pool. But couldn't find any because the shooting took place so early in the morning. But today we learned that an anonymous tipster actually called into police and told them about a teenager with a stolen gun. Just last month, Chief Putney told reporters that he was not going to change his retirement plans no matter what. Then today announces that he will not retire at that set date. Instead, we'll stay through the RNC. It was strangely quiet. If you've ever been to that boardwalk before, you know it's usually packed. Dozens of the family members of the victims and survivors were in court. Now, for many of them, this was their first time seeing the defendant, Tristan Terrell. He says his Boy Scout instincts kicked in, grabbed his cat, and went into a closet underneath the stairs. After the storm passed and he came out, the roof on this house was gone.